mini virus and his family were all cold viruses. Not very well liked indeed, but not remotely as bad as their distant relatives, the coronaviruses with their spiked crowns. Minivirus lived with his virus mum and his virus dad and his virus brothers and virus sisters in a human nose. This nose belonged to an old man. It stood strong and upright and its tip stood out far from the middle of his face, right above his mouth. It had two entrances in nostrils and it was divided into two halves. The rear end had two gates as well, but the virus family would never pass the nose in order not to get into trouble with the giant police cells. Tiny as they were, the nose they lived in was really very big for them. As would be a whole railway station or even an airport for us. And a strong wind blew incessantly through his nose, always changing directions. Once it came from the nostrils, the next time it came from the rear exit, and then from the nostrils again, without interruption, day and night. Now, down beneath some fold of this nose, or perhaps some booga, lived Vinny Virus and his family. And if they would have needed a fire to cook, the smoke from their fire would have curled up over the old man's nose and floated away. Now imagine that. But they were preparing their virus dinner without needing any fire. So they kept laughing and talking together when they heard the sound of a distant storm. What can it be? Vinnie Virus asked. It sounds like the storm when the old man is sneezing, another cried. As the sound grew louder and came nearer, the little viruses hid under the folds of the nose, and when the storm was right upon them, they would snicker and cheer from their hiding places, and sometimes one virus who felt particularly adventurous would slip out from underneath its hiding place and ride with the storm out of the nose into the wide world. Sometimes the wind would blow in the opposite direction. Not so hard as the sneeze storm. That was when the old man was sniffling. Then the viruses would have to be very careful not to be blown out of the back of the nose into the throat. Remember, the police cells were always on guard. Next to the storm, sometimes the flood hit the viruses. That was when the old man had a runny nose. And the worst was the runny nose flood combined with the force of the sneeze storm. Then the viruses would be blown in great numbers out into the world.
because that is how cold viruses usually travel from one nose to the next. And that was how Vinnie Virus began his travel too. When viruses travel, they can be flying for a long time in little droplets, some for just one meter, others for even 50 meters. Imagine what an enormous distance that is for a tiny virus. Compared to your own size, that is the distance to the next town one hour's drive by car away. Some of these travelling viruses will land on a windowsill. Some may be on a table. And some just on the floor. Some of these Travelling viruses will land after a sneeze on some hand. And the luckiest viruses are those who are landing in another nose, where they can build a new home for themselves. But, even those landed on a hand are lucky. For if the hand is not washed, they can come with food into a hungry mouth. Or, if the hand touches the nose, right they are where they want it to be. <laughs> 